If you wanna get promoted, advance your career, earn more income, then make sure to watch this video because I'm gonna share with you the number one mistake you can make that's going to hold you back in your career. So what I'm about to tell you, don't do it. Uh, do, do the opposite. So before I even get started, if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Walls and I'm here to help you with career development and personal finance. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new content. So with that said, let's get started. Now in my 10 plus year career in tech, I would say that I've had a fairly successful run so far. Right out of university into one of the largest tech companies in the world, working my way from an entry level position all the way up to leading teams and managing people. I'd say my career progression has been relatively quick and there's a lot that goes into that that I will cover in other videos but it wasn't always necessarily a clear path upwards there were some slowdowns along the way now had I not made this one mistake my career progression would likely have been even faster the number one mistake is not networking if you have ever heard the question if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it did it make a sound? The same question framework can be applied to your career. If you do an amazing job, but not enough people know about it, or more importantly, maybe the right people don't know about it. Did you actually do an amazing job? The answer, unfortunately, is no. Now, some job roles naturally give the person a platform upon which they can showcase their skills to a wide audience. A lot of people see them. It's high, it's a highly visible role, but not all jobs are like that. So how do you get that kind of visibility? Well, it's done through networking. Now it's one thing for me to just say, well, you, you got to network. The question is, what's the best way to go about doing that? I'm going to give you three steps to effectively network. Step one is narrow your career focus. If I had to pick a number, I would say focus on three career interests. This could be job roles, skills you want to learn, companies or teams you might want to be a part of. You can take that in a number of different directions. But the point of it is this, you can't network with everybody. There's only so much time in a day. And if you network with everyone, that doesn't leave you a whole lot of time to really focus in and develop meaningful long-term relationships. So if you just focus on say three areas of interest, you can then identify two people within each of those three areas that you can reach out to, connect with, learn from. You can use the time to better understand what actions can you take now to eventually move your career in the direction of whoever it is that you're meeting with. You can do this within your company, which I'd highly recommend. That's going to be one of the best paths because you're, well, you're in the company. You've got the internal hierarchy, the directory of whoever's working there. So you can easily connect with those people. But you can also do this externally using platforms like LinkedIn. So you find the people that you want to connect with, you reach out to them, you set up that meeting, and of course you meet with them, but it's not just the one meeting. Which leads me to step number two, which is follow up. The mistake that people make that I myself have made occasionally is to just meet that one time and then that's it. There's no follow up. If you end up having a good meeting with someone, you feel like you had a good connection with that person, you have to set up follow up meetings to stay on their radar. And it helps them better understand that you are truly interested in a role like what they have or interested in joining the team that they're on. So that when opportunities come up, you'll be top of mind. And you have to treat networking almost like a sales job. If you've ever done sales, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But in this case, you're selling the value that you could bring to other people or to other organizations. And the more you build those relationships over the long term, the greater likelihood that you'll have success. Step three is add value to your network. When you set up these meetings, make sure to think ahead about how you might be able to add value to them now or potentially sometime in the near future. Now, as much as you can, you want these meetings to be mutually beneficial to both parties. Now this happens to also be a good opportunity to showcase some of the work that you've done. You'll wanna be selective though. Think about something that you've done that can tie 
to what it is that person does or potentially ties to some of the challenges they may be experiencing in their role or in that organization. My personal example is that in one of the one-on-ones that I had with someone, I had shared that I happened to be quite proficient with data. And for my team that I was on at the time, that I helped create this dashboard that we all used to help make decisions. It happened to tie quite well with what this person did in product management. And just me sharing that led to an impromptu side project that I ended up doing with someone on the team, which fortunately also led to me taking on a new role a few months after that. And that was because I developed that relationship. I was able to add value. So when the time came and an opportunity opened up, I was top of mind. They saw the work that I did and it became a much easier process. So the times that I was deliberate about networking and actually really made an effort were the times that I moved my career forward and the times in my career where I didn't spend a lot of time networking, I found career movement to be quite difficult because by the time the opportunities became available, I was already late to the game. The decision makers for those opportunities didn't know me well enough. At that point in time, I was not being proactive. I never connected with those people to share some of the work that I did, nor did I express any interest in advance, even though I might have actually been interested. And as a hiring manager, I kind of think of it in terms of sales. If you're a customer, you're inclined to deal with people that you know and trust. And the only way that happens in the career sense is through networking. And as you do that, if you want to further build your credibility and expertise, one of the ways to do that is through various forms of education. So make sure to check out my video on Coursera. It is an online learning platform with courses from the top universities around the world. And check out my other video where I talk about Course Careers, which is an online tech sales boot camp that can help fast track you into the tech industry if maybe you're not already there and you want to move in that direction. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.